Okay, so today I'm, I've got a cold. I'm pretty sick. I've had a sore throat and a cold for the past couple days. But I've got to change this garage door spring. And i got to change it today, so... The new spring, the new spring came in, and I got it right here. And the tools for taking it off, so I got to get up here and and change this. So I'm gonna make a vlog about it. So. And then you have to keep pressure on the spring. You have to keep pressure on the, take the pressure off the spring and then use the rods to slowly lower the spring to take the pressure off the spring. Hopefully I don't break a knuckle or put a hole in the wall or anything with this thing. I can't even get over here to it. Hardly, so here's the, here's the other rod. It's way over here in the freaking middle. I don't know which direction this thing is going. I don't know if it's pushing up or down. I guess I'll be able to tell once I start loosening it. Looks like it's going down. Yeah, it's going down. So basically, you slowly lower it. It's coming down. Oh! Put that in. Yeah, that's where you put it in. Lower it. I can do this. Right. You just gotta be careful. You'll, you'll crack your knuckles or that's this thing up. It's just three. So you have to take this, this off, you have to take the cable off and put it over here. You gotta take both sides loose in order to slide this rod over enough to get it out. Look, this one had one screw was loose on both of them. Both ends had a screw loose. Possibly it could have been what messed up the door. Okay, so I slide the whole rod over. Oh, I can't get it off. Well, I probably can't. No. Sliding off. 
It's that end. The end. Where this bolt's in is bent that metal a little bit and it won't go through the end of the door. sides. I guess I can slide it down now. What's going on here? I don't want to slide. Fuck. Let me go over there and take that whip. Nah. Let me try getting it from the middle. My shoes are falling off. I don't want this thing falling. One, two, three. There we go. I think that's what we're talking about is putting a clamp on here so the rod doesn't fall off. That's what he was talking about. So now you gotta slide this off. This one just slide off. Included in the kit is a new cable for this end and a new metal uh, bushing for the center. So you got to put the bushing on for Here's the old bushing. It's a plastic junky, not rated for much. It's not even a bushing. It's just a plastic piece that will basically wear out and cause it to mess up the center. So you slide this on. Slide this on first. Pass it a little. Slide it down. Whoa. All right, well, close enough. I'll tap it past it. Slide the new spring. spring. it up on this side first then I'll replace the cable with a new cable all right so now what you have to do is you have to slide the rod back slide the spring back, slide the right rod back slide it back Get it back up in the hole. Oh, for God. And so you gotta get it on the other side. There. And then this one, it goes over the end of this one. There, it goes like that. See, and then that holds it up. That makes sense. Then that holds the rod up. Okay. So, put it over there. Let 
I'm just basically going reverse direction of how you how you take it apart. Put it on like that. Get the night nut started. This has got a little locking thing. Keep it from spinning past the doodads. Socket and a 9 16 wrench. So, to flip it over. I got a half inch drive 9 16 socket. Okay, on this side, this side seemed to work better. tighter than it was. This thing was loose. in the thing. It's not moving. Now you can start tightening these. I don't know which way this one goes. It goes like this, I think. Yeah, no, this one goes like this. This one goes the other direction. I like three inches hanging on the end of that side, so I can move it over. I'm assuming this goes over the top here. Goes like that. I hear my grandson. I gotta go. This is not working out. They left me. I'm trying to do the garage door and that left me with my grandson. Everything else tightened up, so all I gotta do is, is uh, tighten the springs back. It was like a 30 turns on this thing. Like 30 turns on this thing. And it was going, let's see, it was pushing down like this, so it goes this way.
tighten it down more. That side's off. I gotta get on that side. Damn it. Now it's tight on the spring. There we go. Now the spring's tight. Now it's got pressure. It needs more. I can always give it more. Thank you. 
verse from him. So I got both springs tight, I think, tight enough. It's really hard to tell how, how many turns you, I did it until it was really hard to turn. And when I let off, when I tightened that, it got, the, I felt the door lift a little, it's like, it, like the pressure came off the bottom of the door. So I'm going to try the garage door opener and see if it works now. Um, it should work. It should work fine. So let's give it a shot. All right, I'm pretty excited. I'm gonna hit the button. No, still not enough. Still not enough tension. It needs more tension. I need to tighten the springs more, but I'm getting there. So I need to get up there and tighten the springs a few more turns until I get this thing strong enough for the door to lift it. Okay, so it's... All right, so I lost my voice even more. Yesterday, I got it to the point where it was working, but it wasn't lifting all the way up. So today, I had to go, and then today I tighten the springs up. And what you do is, <clears throat> you tighten the springs as, you know, more, you tighten the springs more, and then you pull the clip, and if you can lift the door up, fairly easy like when I get the door about halfway it lifts up easy so then it's ready to go so that's the best way to test it don't test it by pushing your garage door button that's what I first did and I thought no that's not right let me look it up so you clip it you lift it if you can lift the door by yourself one person lift it and it might be a little bit hard at the bottom but then it gets softer and lighter as it goes up then it's perfect so I got it I got it set perfect I got the cables all in now we're about to try. I tried it and then I pulled the little clip. Now we're going to try the electric door opener and see if it works. See? Boom! Right there. Works like a champ. So next, I appreciate you guys sticking in through my cold. So next, next uh, project will be to change the oil on my bike so I can drive my bike out. So I got the oil and filter. I got the wrenches sitting here. The filter's up in there. I got the uh, filter and the oil for the bike. I'm gonna change my oil on my bike because it's got over 600 miles on it now. And I need to change it and I wanna ride the bike. So I can't be riding the bike without changing the oil for the break-in period. So it's got 600 miles break-in. It's got 630, I think, is how many's on it. So now it's ready to be, it's ready to be, uh, have the oil changed. So now I can really get on it and have a good time. Um, I love riding a bike, but I haven't been able to ride it for a few days because of a couple things. The door being broke and the oil needing to change when I did get the door open with my son-in-law who helped me get the door open. So that's it. If you liked the video, get a thumbs up. Dislike that thumbs down. Talk to you later. Have a good time. Appreciate it, YouTube. Thanks for watching. Talk to you later. Hopefully my voice comes back before I change the oil. I'll probably change the oil tomorrow afternoon. So I'll do a video on it then.